Since the dawn of time, humans have always feared the darkness. Vampires, werewolves, zombies, ghosts. Although it differs slightly from culture to culture, people's fear of the darkness has grounded them into living conservatively. In the current world, thanks to wars, terrorism, weapons of mass destruction, accidents caused by human error and daily incidents of murder, humans have grown to fear the actions of their own kind, even more than the darkness itself. This is the story of a group of heroes who have stood up to fight back against such a corrupted society. Oh, the fresh, dripping blood, fame sinking into its skin. Oh, what a splendid taste. Extract of life overflows and fills my body. I can feel its power. Oh, the waves of ecstasy. How oh, magical. Are oh, these insignificant creatures known as sardines? His name is Valva Torres, an elite vampire who was once feared for being a tyrant. In spite of his legend, he now spends his life in Hades, the netherworld's prison, admiring sardines. His werewolf steward, Fenric, who routinely showers his master with praise and compliments. As expected of you, Lord Valvatores. No matter the hardships or circumstances, you are ever the optimist, my lord. Listen to this, Fenric. Sardines are the most ideal food because they are full of nutrients, like omega-3 fatty acids. In other words, they cleanse your blood, prevent various diseases, and help you to burn more fat. I've been here for quite some time, but I never knew these cheap sardines possessed so much potential. One should never underestimate the studies that are conducted in the human world. <laughs> there is no doubt that my body is benefiting from these sardines' nutrition. This is evolution! My body is truly evolving since the time I was credited as being a tyrant. The fact that you don't even acknowledge it as a degeneration is one of my Lord Valvatoris' many formidable powers. Care for another to enhance your evolution, my lord. Ah, this one looks rather juicy and delicious. Wait a second. Yes, is there a problem? Rick, once again you have attempted to sneak this into my meal. The blood of humans! As expected, my lord, you saw right through my deception. Of course! Never doubt a vampire's sense of smell. I only meant it as a gift to my master, who has lost his power due to a foolish promise that he made in the past. Since you can't abide breaking promises, I figured it would be prudent for you to imbibe it unintentionally. Do you disapprove? How many times do I have to tell you? A proud demon like myself would never break a promise. Demon's promises are supposed to be sacred. They're contra- I admire that you have retained your values as a demon, even after you lost your powers and fell to Hades. Lord Valvatore! 
Princess! All of the pretties have been gathered! Please come to the pretty factory! You! Pretty! Repeat what you just said! Hey! I... I only asked you to come to the factory! Fool! You forgot to include dude in all of your lines! Pretty rule number one! You shall always include the word dude in every line you say! <laughs> You're absolutely right, dude! I'm sorry, dude! Too late! We must start over from level one. Level one pretty task. Scrubbing the toilet. Can't even master the basics. The quality of the human souls is decreasing by the day. That is why. That is why I have to do this. I vowed to become a printing instructor the very day I fell to Hades because I knew that was my true calling. What an impressive ability to overwrite his memory of losing his power and being forced to take the least wanted job in the netherworld. This is another one of his formidable powers. He can convert any suffering that he's been through into something positive. You're way too good to be a lowly Prinny instructor, my lord. Someday, I, Fenric, will... Let's go, Fenric! It's time to fulfill our duty! Episode 1 Rebels of Hades